So guys, Mercedes-Benz have literally just announced the Sealy Coupe and Cabriolet. So in case you've missed it, this is just a quick run through of these two new models coming to the Mercedes-Benz range. So starting out on the exterior first. Now, a lot of Mercedes-Benz do come out with this new grille. So this new grille basically has all these tiny Mercedes-Benz stars kind of either side of the big one in the middle. And if you look really, really closely, this also has those nice power domes on the bonnet as well, just adding to that sporty look. Of course, it has all that AMG styling down on the bottom left and bottom right, typically of what you'd find on AMG line variants and AMG styled cars. Now from the side, this car literally does look like a C-Class Coupe, which I think is what they were kind of going for, not to take away from that very, very popular model previously. However, if you look at the front, it's kind of got CLA vibes where you kind of got these slopey styled headlights and then the power domes on the front there. So I really like it actually, the two blend of these two models together. From the rear though, I've not seen this black piece in the middle before, but actually I quite like it because it separates the two kind of tail lights either side and directs the attention to the Mercedes badge in the middle. Everything just surrounds that Mercedes Benz badge, you know. Also, a quick look at the rear again. It does look very much like an S-Class in some lights, uh, the S-Class Coupe that Mercedes Benz used to make, which was a very, very high-end model, but I actually quite like to see that that kind of style has come back. Now, as is customary with most new cars, when they are launched, uh, when a new one comes out, they are always slightly bigger. But there's a positive to that. You do get more space on the inside. So the CLE is going to offer more headroom, more shoulder room, and up to 72 millimeters more knee room. Now, that is really, really good. I'd be curious to see what it's like in the front as well. From the launch of the video, it also looks like the CLE is going to have the new MBUX. So this will be version 3 or generation 3. NTG8 if you're in the know. Basically this has a lot of new features but one of the most eye-catching ones is a thing called routines. So for example say it was really really hot outside you can actually have the sunroof kind of automatically open when it hits a certain threshold so maybe 25 degrees or more or say in the winter for example if it got really really cold if it dropped below I don't know five degrees you can get your heated seats to come on. There's loads of other things like that and Hopefully I'll be able to make a video in the future on all these different things you can do with routines. That's a tutorial video right there. So I'll definitely try and cover that if I get my hands on one. Oh, and one last thing while I was watching it live, Mercedes-Benz then just dropped literally 30 seconds to a minute just before it ended that there was a Cabriolet, the convertible version as well. I was like, yes, they're actually doing a Sealy Coupe and Cabriolet as well. So um, it went so long with just the Coupe and I thought, um, I didn't think they were actually going to bring it out, but um, yeah, they did. So Coupe and Cabriolet is confirmed. I think from the sounds of it, the Coupe may be later this year, if not very early next year, but then the Cabriolet is going to be a few months after that. So it'll probably be more touching on summer next year. So it'll be summer 2024, just in time for that, hopefully. So I guess this question, it might be on your mind right now. Are these two models, the Sealy Coupe and Sealy Cabriolet, are they replacing the C-Class Coupe, the C-Class Cabriolet, the E-Class Coupe, and the E-Class Cabriolet. I did that all in one without messing up. <laughs> Such a tongue twister. So yeah, are they replacing them? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see because um, Mercedes-Benz don't announce when they usually discontinue a model. They just kind of just keep it um, kind of on the down low and just kind of let the remaining cars, I guess, like they're in stock, kind of just sell. Um, so we'll have to see. Um, but it does kind of make sense because Mercedes-Benz, I remember uh, one of the top kind of uh, people in Mercedes on a live stream once, they did say that they were simplifying the Mercedes-Benz range. So this definitely does make sense because they have like 34, 36 different shapes of Mercedes, which is crazy. If you think, if you've never had a Mercedes before and you walk in and you go, right, what can I buy? And there's like 36 different shapes and chassis of car. There's, there's a lot. So... I think it makes sense if Mercedes-Benz are simplifying their range and just kind of making it a lot easier to pick. So again, with all these different models, they have different price points as well. You've got £32,000 starting from all the way up to £200,000. So I guess it kind of does make sense. So uh, I guess only time we'll see. Uh, we'll have to see what happens uh, in the future. Now, as always, this is an announcement video. So this is not um, the pricing release. Mercedes-Benz always do an announcement video first. So that's usually 
six months before the price comes out. So the pricing for these two cars, I would have thought would probably be later in the year. We'll be lucky if we see it um, this year, but we'll just have to keep an eye out. Obviously get in touch with local Mercedes, register your interest on their websites and everything. And that way you'll be one of the first to know when it's launched, uh, if it's being sold in the country you live in. But hopefully because it looks like a cracking car. So to summarize on the Sealy Coupe and Cabriolet, these are definitely going to kind of modernize the Mercedes-Benz range even further, uh, sitting hopefully just right next to C-Class and E-Class. And there could be the play on the words, you know, C-L-E, could be the play on the words of uh, kind of removing those two and just having the CLE. But as I said, we'll have to wait and see um, in the future. But yeah, they look incredible. And um, I know I'm in the middle of actually changing my car at the moment, so um, kind of gutted I didn't wait, but hey-ho. Is what it is i guess but yeah guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below uh message me down there i'll try and answer anyone's questions but of course i only know the information that's been um, announced by mercedes so i don't know any insider info but let me know what you think down below would you consider the sealy coupe or cabriolet coming out soon let me know guys thank you so much for watching until next time see you then